Last week we talked about different avenues of paying for college. Now we wanted to break them down and explain them a little more to help you better understand. First, let's talk about grants. Grants are non-repayable funds dispersed or gifted by one party to a recipient. So who gives out grants? Grants are given out by the college, by the state, or the federal government. This is a great way to pay for college because you don't have to pay back the funds awarded to you. Next is work study. This is a program that some colleges offer that enables students to work part-time on and sometimes off campus jobs while attending school. Scholarships. A scholarship is an award of financial aid for a student to further their education. There are many different scholarships out there and each have their own criteria, which usually reflects values and purpose of that individual scholarship. This is a financial aid that does not need repayment. The last option we're going to talk about is loans. There are different types of loans that can help pay for college. You have federal student loans, including Stafford and Perkins loans. You can also take out personal loans to help pay for college as well. Next week, we will talk about the different types of federal loans and why it's important to know the differences. This week's Money Minute trivia question is... True or false, grants are funds that you must pay back. Everyone who correctly answers this week's Money Minute will be entered into a drawing to win a Tiger Credit Union swag bag. Be sure to find us during your lunch period to answer this week's trivia question. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. It's Wednesday, March 13th, and it's a B-Day. We are problem solvers. This month, we are giving you lots of great study tips and test-taking strategies to be the best student you can be. Take this study quiz and see how good you are doing. See how well you score with great study skills. A yes answer shows that you have mastered this concept. A no answer reminds you that improvement is needed. By the end of the month, switch all those no's to yes responses. Study plan number one. Do you have a daily study schedule? Question 2. Do you have a good study area? Question 3. Do you review what you have studied? Question 4. Do you take good class slash study notes? Yeah. Review techniques. Question 1. Do you have time scheduled to study slash review before tests? Question 2. Do you summarize your notes? Question 3. Do you self-test yourself on summary notes? Question 4. Do you ask the teacher what to study the most? Question 5. Do you try to predict the questions? Question 6. Do you review with other students? How many yeses did you get? If you had any no's, think about what you can do this month to step up your study game. Are you interested in joining a branch of the military? If you answered yes to that question, then you will need to take the ASVAB test. We will be offering the ASVAB test on March 27th and you can sign up to take it in the counseling office. Sophomore juniors and seniors are eligible to take this one. All right, talk to Mr. Holden with any questions. That's all. Have a great day, Tigers. Or not. The choice is yours. Bye.